<sighs> well, um, I'm pretty sure we all know what's going on uh, with the crisis in Ukraine right now, and it's much bigger than that, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Russia has declared war on the Ukraine and indirectly declared war on the world. Um, basically, to summarize everything, we all know what's going on, but just to you know, wrap everything up for those that don't, Russia wanted to take over Ukraine or invade Ukraine by any means possible. So uh, Putin came up with this boneless excuse for uh, to raid Ukraine by saying that there was a lot of uh, genocide and horrible things happening to the people in Ukraine, and he basically wanted to liberate Ukraine. But all of that was just a bonus excuse to go inside and take the lives of innocent people and take the land of innocent people. Within two hours of him announcing that, there were missile strikes in the Ukraine, and since then, worldwide, everybody has been shaken, 100% shaken. Now, I am personally terrified for several reasons. Putin also said if anybody were to interfere with what they are doing to Ukraine, they would directly retaliate in a way never seen before. And while a lot of people may possibly think that those are just boneless uh, threats and whatnot, um, we've quite literally seen him follow through with what he said so far, which is very terrifying. It's almost pushing the world into what could possibly be a literal World War III. I made a video where um, you know, I was talking about possibly a World War III happening, but it seems like this is legitimately the rubric, the blueprint for World War III. And here's why. If any country, like I said, interferes um, and sends troops to aid in the efforts um, against Russia's invasion of Ukraine, um, then Russia is literally going to fight the world. And I'm pretty sure they have, um, you know, an, a, a couple of other allies that might actually put up a strong ass fight. This is very crazy because already there's been so much bloodshed within the last 24 hours, the last 48 hours. Um, and we don't know what's going to happen next. Um, you know, people are already getting drafted in the Ukraine. The president this morning just put out uh, a ban on men between the ages of 18 to 60 from leaving the country so that they have able-bodied people that are able to fight and protect their own country. Other countries are sending as much support as possible from troops to weapons to tanks to medical equipment. And this has been the most high stakes situation probably in the last four decades. We haven't had a all out serious world war in a long time. And this seems like the catalyst for something absolutely catastrophic. And I'm scared. I'm scared for several reasons. Um, you guys know that I am in the military and I could possibly be sent into this myself. Um, and who knows what will happen. So obviously, like, you know, if you see me stop uploading for a long ass time um, or permanently, there could be that. Um, but I'm more concerned with the people that follow me because most of the followers I have are from Europe. I'd say 99% of the followers I have are from Europe, from Serbia, from Germany, from um, neighboring countries. I don't think so much Ukraine, per perhaps, but there are a few people from Ukraine that follow me for sure. And I'm worried because this affects everybody. Um, a lot of the people uh, that especially are living in Germany are terrified because Germany is already in a weird position right now. Um, you know, you guys are super close to the blast radius of what's happening. Um, you know, obviously Germany doesn't want to get dragged into a situation where possibly um, they have to literally go all out and fight hard, right? 
and um, possibly put themselves in a compromising situation as well. But at the same time, no one wants to watch while innocent people get mercilessly slaughtered by a tyrant. And that's exactly what Putin is, a tyrant. Um, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. Um, the people in Russia, the people, the regular ass people that have nothing to do with politics have want nothing to do with what's happening. It's to the point where there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of protesters all over Russia trying to stop this slaughter because they want nothing to do with it. They don't wish this on anybody. They're apologizing and there's, it's all over the media. They're like, hey, we're so sorry. One sign that broke my heart this morning, I woke up and opened my phone and there was a man holding up a poster that said, I'm Russian and I'm sorry. And I was like, wow, that's incredibly sad. Incredibly sad because what it solidifies is no matter what happens, no matter um, you know who uh, is in power and who, who initiates the wars and da-da-da, the people who start the wars and the people who fuel the wars are never the people involved in the wars. It's always innocent people. Innocent people fighting innocent people. Innocent people running away from attacks that have nothing to do with them. And I feel like that's incredibly sickening. Sickening. Um, I... Uh, I feel obligated to talk about this just because a lot of people that follow me are from Europe and I directly am going to be involved um, with what's going to, going to happen in some way, shape or form, you know, some way, shape or form. Um, don't know how, but it's it's very terrifying. Um, I can say that a lot of this seems to be you know, something that's been building up for a little bit. Tensions have been pretty bad between, um, you know, the world and Russia for a, a minute. Not like, you know, every single country, but most places, because Russia's been doing its own thing. Now that we're at the point where Russia's actually picking a fight, poking the bear, and, and, and calling everyone's bluff to quite literally do whatever they want to provoke a war, this is insane absolutely insane um I, I hopped in discord yesterday for those that um were there you guys know what i'm about to talk about one of the biggest things that i feel like everybody is scared of right now is a possible nuclear warfare um earlier today russia seized the chernobyl uh nuclear site in ukraine um which is very scary there's a dome currently covering Chernobyl to prevent the radiation from leaking. But in the midst of some of the airstrikes, part of the dome was damaged. And there have been reports of higher levels of radiation in the area. This is absolutely insane, guys. I have, I'm, a, I'm at a loss of words. And I feel like I've been, I've bonded with Europe in one of the most intimate ways over the last three years. And this is happening you know this is happening it feels like you know it's indescribable it's so sad it is so sad i can only imagine how the people there in ukraine directly are feeling uh there was a soldier a few hours ago that blew himself up to prevent russian tanks from entering the area uh, there are old people, like 60 years plus, enlisting in the military uh, to fight for their country. There are retired celebrities that are Ukrainian and um, things of the sort that are also taking part in this. Everyone is fighting tooth and nail to make sure that their home does not get destroyed. And this is quite literally the most and intense and serious thing that has happened like i said since world war ii i'm confident to say since world war ii because this is a daisy chain waiting to go off russia is quite literally going to beat the shit out of ukraine 
and provoke the world to attack Russia with Russia striking back, that quite literally would be the definition of a world war. And I'm terrified. And I want to know how you guys are feeling. I want to know how you guys are doing. Um, if there's anything I can do to, you know, help in any way, any way, whether it's just being an open ear to people who are scared, um, that want to just, you know, get something off their chest, um, anything, anything. Um, I honestly want to start doing streams and things of that nature and donate um, and to organizations that are going to help out with the crisis over there. Because like I said, in the midst of all of this, there are innocent people who have nothing to do with this war at all. Ukraine honestly has nothing to do with any of this. Like they're just, they're literally being trampled. And so the soldiers that are fighting and even the civilians that are taking place in the fight as well, um, it's, it's scary. It's very scary. We saw buildings get destroyed, people get killed. It's a horrifying time to be in right now. It's a horrifying time to be alive because we have no idea what's going to happen next. The nuclear uh, war thing that I was talking about in Discord that I briefly covered a few minutes ago, but then got distracted and went in a different direction. Um, the problem with that is I feel like we're at a point where I feel like Russia could possibly use a nuclear weapon, nuclear weapons in, in that case. People were saying, well, if that's the case, the entire world is over because everyone's going to use nukes. My theory, and I could be wrong, but hear me out because it makes sense. Everyone worldwide understands the detrimental effects of a nuclear war, right? So I feel like if one, if a nuke were to be used, not every single person would go and be quick to hit a nuclear warhead button, you know? I feel like a few countries would, but then I feel like there would be discussions and other tactical measures taken to um, prevent the world from quite literally being entirely destroyed. Because at the end of the day, we have to live with the aftermath of what is happening. This probably has been the most anxious I've ever been. And I can only imagine what the people that are actually going through this feel or the people in neighboring countries, how they feel, how the people in Russia feel that don't want to have anything to do with this, that want this onslaught to stop. I've been getting DMs um, for the past almost 48 hours to talk about this situation. And those are are my thoughts. I'm 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 scared. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm I'm actually scared. Russia just declared war on Ukraine and the world, and we don't know what's gonna happen next. Um, the pandemic was in the talks in the news for a while, and I remember someone saying in order for the pandemic to not be talked about anymore, I feel like something massive would have to happen, something that would massively overshadow that. And this is that 100% because people right now are taking up arms and this is a much more serious situation um, because quite literally we, we are on the verge of not having a planet if things go really bad. And we are on the verge of a lot of innocent people and a lot of innocent people have already having their have had their lives snatched from this situation. It's it's terrible, absolutely terrible. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I want to hear you guys' opinions. I want to open up a discussion in the comments. Um, I'm terrified. I am terrified. I will definitely post an update video on what's happening because it seems like every hour there is a lot of new crazy developments happening and it's everything's happening so rapidly right now. I would not be surprised if some wild shit popped off in the next week because wild shit is happening literally right now and it gets crazier and crazier by the minute, by the minute. Please let me know how you feel in the comments down below because I know I can't be the only person that feels terrified right now. <sighs> I'm 
that's pretty much it, guys. I hope everyone's safe. Um, if you guys have friends in Ukraine, friends, family, people you know, and even the people you don't, just send prayers their way, and that's it. See ya.